That day, Nick had no idea how his fishing trip would end. He was fishing on a pier, sipping his favorite drink. But then he made a huge mistake. He just tossed his can right into the ocean. The current dragged the can down to the ocean floor. And by a random coincidence, it hit the sea god right in the head. Oh, Poseidon is mad. Instead of catching dinner, Nick is going on a trip underwater to meet the underwater police. They have pretty serious charges against him. Nick littered in the ocean, so now he's going to be sentenced to time in ocean prison. It's not a very comfortable place for a normal guy to spend his time. Normal humans don't end up in underwater prison a lot, but it's pretty much just a prison. Nick still has to go through all the normal stuff, with one exception. It's hard to take mug shots underwater. If the camera's not waterproof, it won't work. Nick decides to help out, because he knows this could take a while. So he offers the guard his phone, which is waterproof. Water creatures don't get a lot of land technology, so the guard is pretty shocked. The photos turned out fine, but Nick's not getting his phone back for sure. This is Caroline. She's just a normal mermaid passing by, but she's way more important than she knows. She was curious about the strange prisoner. She's no expert, but the thing on the stranger's head made her think that this guy isn't from here. Caroline realized that the prisoner is a human, and she felt bad for him. So Caroline offers Nick a special potion that temporarily gives humans mermaid traits. Nick drank it, but she forgot about the side effects. Now Nick has flippers. Without the glass over his head, Nick can get some rest. He was sleeping well, but then he suddenly saw something strange and horrible on his face. While he was sleeping, a huge green mustache grew on his face. Nick tried to shave it off, but the mustache came to life and grabbed him. He was shook. On land, a mustache would never grab his hands like this. He called for help. It turned out that Nick's mustache isn't a mustache. It's Officer Jones' pet. Sparkle is a living piece of seaweed. He liked sleeping on Nick's warm face until Nick broke out the weapons. That was awkward. Nick's first night in underwater prison was pretty rough. No matter how he tossed and turned, the lighthouse kept bugging him. Nick had no idea that lighthouses were that powerful and annoying. Nick had to go wake Officer Jones to have him fix the lighthouse situation. The sleepy officer got mixed up and nearly flushed Nick out of his cell. Luckily, he stopped in time. Not that Nick was too happy about it. He got up close and personal with a sea urchin. At least he didn't get flushed away, though. Now that that's done, Officer Jones has another problem. The lighthouse won't turn off. He had to go see what's going on. Here's what it is. Poseidon was doing a photo shoot. The next day, news about Nick's capture was all over the underwater kingdom. This is huge news. It's not every day we get a real landlubber in our underwater prison. What a hot topic! An hour later, Nick's cell was surrounded by sea creatures. They all wanted to see the two-legged freak. Officer Jones opened a business. Look at Nick for a little payment. Just don't feed the human. As for Nick, he was loving the attention. What does Officer Jones like more? The case or the phone? Nick just needs to make one call. He went fishing a week ago, and his mom must be worried. And he doesn't want his mom to be worried. But she wasn't even able to hear him. The phone was just making weird gurgling noises. As soon as she took the phone away from her ear, 
it started overflowing. She realized that her phone got soaked and she needs to dry it out before it breaks. But when did she spill water on it? She has no idea. Nick understands that his mom can't help him. The next day, he came up with a plan for how to send a signal to dry land. It's a classic, a message in a bottle. He just has to hope that the bottle will show up in the right place. It did. The bottle swam up to another person fishing. She read it and decided to help the fishermen. She sent down a can of food. When you are full, life doesn't seem so bad, right? Canned food wasn't at all what Nick was expecting. But he was still pretty happy with it. Not for long. Officer Jones confiscates the canned fish. Once a week, the underwater prisoners have to clean. Nick's task is to clean the cafeteria. Underwater, instead of gum, he has to scrape off barnacles and other mollusks. And not just from the table. The mollusks are happy to cling to other sea creatures. Nick did a great job today. Now Officer Jones' back is way less itchy. Another task for Nick is picking up trash. That's a perfect assignment for someone who got locked up because of littering. Nick has to really feel the weight of his crimes against the ocean. Cleaning oceanic pollution is hard. But Nick is doing his best. At some point, he got so into it that he chased after a jellyfish, thinking it was a plastic bag. Soon he realized the difference between jellyfish and plastic bags. It hit him with such a huge electric shock that all of a sudden, he ended up back in his cell. He'll be more careful next time. It's Caroline! Nick has already met her. What got her landed in prison? Nick asks her about it. And Caroline tells him that she's in here for speeding. It's not her fault. She was late for an audition. Who cares if she cut off a couple whales? Hmm. Happens to the best of us. But Caroline doesn't want to stay in here. She starts singing. And her voice turns Officer Jones's head. He starts letting her go. Nick started thinking, what if he charmed Officer Jones with his voice? But unlike Caroline, Nick can't sing at all. So for the sake of keeping the peace, another day done. Nick is getting ready for bed, but then he got hit by a rock. Someone must be throwing rocks into the ocean. Most rocks don't come back, but this one did. Now he'll never do it again. Nick was waiting for his food in the cafeteria when suddenly a delicious sandwich came down from the surface. But the sandwich isn't for Nick. Officer Jones brought Nick some worms. Prison food, am I right? To Nick's surprise, the worms are way better than seaweed. Nick ate a lot. And to keep himself from bloating, he drank some water. But not even an octopus would drink salt water. Officer Jones offered him some normal drinking water. Thirsty? Just drink water. The only thing worse than a limpet is an annoying underwater tourist. A diver is swimming up to Nick and trying to take a free picture? No! Officer Jones won't let that happen. A photo costs 10 bucks. The diver would have paid, but he didn't bring any cash. Well, in that case, you can pay by card. The underwater bank only recently started accepting payment from dry land. Nick's sentence is done. But Nick doesn't want to go back. He didn't have any friends on dry land. Plus, he met Caroline. Nick can't imagine his life without her anymore. So he decides to stay. He litters again and gets a new prison sentence. 
But now he won't be alone. Caroline is joining him. Sorry, Officer Jones. You have more work to do. <laughs> Did you like our new story? What was your favorite part? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a new video from Troom Troom Trick.